Okay, we are loading in. Sorry, I'm just responding to some sponsor emails. They are clearly scams. I'm not going to be giving them access to my channel. No. Okay, anyway, uh, let's pause this. I think we'll go to streets after this one if you want. One day I'll have the RAM for streets. Yeah, Kelly and I have, uh, we've tried and failed a few times. Okay, so we're going for the shops, chat. Kill some scavs, do the shops. That's the plan. You only have ones at the start of the wipe. Okay. No, I, I really like it. It's, uh, it's one of those maps that's, like, huge, but also tiny. Like, once you know where everything is, it's so easy to get around. But there's so much verticality to it. That, like, you can spend, you can spend an entire raid in just one area. You got in on the Africa servers, me? Okay, cool. Next raid, we'll do a viewer kit, buddy. Because I'm probably going to die here. Let's be real. I got the jitters. I got the jitters. How did you get in on the Africa servers? Yeah, actually, good question. Let us in on your, uh, on your methodology there. That's quite an achievement. Eh. eh I mean, I'll, I'll take it just in case, but... Six shots in a dream. It might save us. Who knows? Probably not, though. Okay. It is dark as hell. Once we're inside, it will be slightly less dark as hell. I know about the FOV bug. I'm not going to use it. It feels a bit like cheesing to me. And uh, I don't, I don't really like cheesing in games. I'll do it sometimes if, if the game needs it, but I don't. I typically try not to, especially in games like this. Because it just feels like it gives you such an advantage over people who aren't aware. And like learning the maps is one thing, learning exploits is another. Exploits, exploits. Can't English right now, chat. I've got a mouthful of uh, of Coca Cola Zero, and it shows. Uh. Okay, chat. Coco Pepsi. Right now. Tell me. Refreshing the server launcher. Really? Okay. That's mainly where you struggle is map knowledge. How long have you been playing the game, bud? Um, because that's a big that's a big effector of it. Pepsi? Really? No shot. Pepsi? I've got a Pepsi stand in chat. Everyone bully him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Please do not. I will ban you. Um we're heading over... You know what? Heck it. Heck it all. We're going up. Maybe a little premature. Gonna be scabs here. If killer wants to be here, please stand facing the other way and let me shoot you six times in the back of the head. That would be lovely. I've got the right ammo for it. I see him. Hey, buddy. It was not a human. Nobody to be found here. No friends, only foes. Might as well wear the better. Oh, actually, we should take that. Oh, my gun stuck at a animation change loop. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Any more? Uh, no, 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 thank you. I think I'll pass. Uh, I think I'll pass. I'm gonna slurp this down for the weight. Don't need it. Don't need it. I'll keep it. What have we got your wires? That's pretty big. And nothing on the tables. Gonna loot the back room here. Because it's worth it. Might get a GPU. We need three of them. It's really hard to get them from quests now. They've, they've, they've nerfed the quest rewards. Pepsi diet's your favorite? Crazy. Oh, two months of playing Tarkov? No, buddy, then don't, don't stress yourself over, like, finding, um... Of, of like, knowing map knowledge and stuff. It takes, it takes a while. My advice is always pick one map and just run that again and again and again. Forget, ignore the quests, forget all that. You just go with one map and there's the GPU uh, until you don't need anything else. Okay, well, this is not hardcore, so we can do this. That's very nice. That's very nice. 
That's very nice. Huh? How nice is that, chat? Ram. Even if we die, that's good money. CPU fan. We're gonna need a lot of those. Okay. Let's go to the stores. Don't see killer. Yet. We got one scav kill. We need 24 more. Woo, stream of loot. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. If you've never seen one before, there's your GPU in Tarkov. I believe it's like a 570 or something like that. I remember someone uh, did a video where they played Tarkov on the Tarkov GPU, and it works. It runs. I, uh, this game is very CPU and RAM intensive. If you are looking to upgrade your PC to play Tarkov, don't buy a graphics card. Uh, you can run this on almost anything. Buy, uh, buy more RAM, buy a CPU before you buy more, before you buy a better graphics card. Gotta go to Trend. Let's go to Trend. I used to know all the stores off by heart. Let's see if I can still do it without having to check a map. I wonder. You don't have to go upstairs at all, which is nice. It helps. Okay, next one's over here. It's Dino Clothes. Then we go back up this way. We go to Costin. That's two out of five. I'm happy to reset once this is done, because this unlocks a ton of other quests for Ragman. Okay, we are now near the Emicom key point. Which step to my right? Map is so goddamn dark. I run 16, still feels like it's not enough. Yeah, I've got 32. Um, and my other, my previous PC had 64, which was just a bit slower. I'd say 16 is the minimum if you want to play on Lighthouse, and you gotta have. I think you gotta have 32 at this point to play, to play Streets. But I mean, like, don't spend money on a computer to play a game. Like, the game needs to optimize itself for you. You know, not the other way around. Do this. Footsteps on the escalators. There's Costin, that's the next one. Oh, it's Scavs. It seems improbable to me that we're alone. What have we got here? Hollow point? Yep. I think you have to do all of this in one raid now as well. Makes it a little harder. Okay. Then we've got to go across this way. This is probably the most dangerous part of the, the trek. Is this segment right here. There will be a lot of players here. Is why I make noise, you see? Keep them guessing. The Zhuk. I know it's better than this, but I don't care. Could take that for the Bastion, but eh. We will need Tashankas very soon. That's another car med kit. Always take a bandage. Ah. Yeah. Oh, we probably should have kept that for the... Oopsie, the food barter trade. We've almost got Jaeger too. One more. Yo, oh, these scavs are loaded, man. The heck? You seeing this? <laughs> what the hell? 303 and 220. I don't need either, but that's nice to have. Check the jacket over here. Uh, where's the jacket? Here. Big stream lag? Really? 
Have you tried refreshing your page first, buddy? Uh, Berenzino Slasher. Hello, you need 32 gigs, gigs of RAM for Tarkov. Okay, there you go. There you go. There's your answer. Power, I was going to buy a new GPU for Tarkov. I have a 3050R5-5600X and a 16 gigs of RAM. Would a RAM upgrade do you better? Yeah, yeah. I had a 2600X on my previous PC, and it was a um, it was not the bottleneck I thought it was. I got the RAM upgrade, immediate performance spike. I went from like 60 frames on Lighthouse to uh, 90. Oh, sorry, I went from 40 frames on Frightened Lighthouse to 90. It was it was definitely the RAM that was throttling everything. Do I have to go to generic or th attic? I don't remember. Top brand avocado. This is Rasmussen. Uh, they're down this way, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. We'll find out soon. Don't know. Woo! Sorry. That's Revy's. There's top brand. Avocado's like around here, right? Oh, don't make me check a map. I'm pretty sure I can do this without it. Uh, it doesn't unlock any quests anymore. It's a 25 scab kills that gets you to quest down the line. Okay. I actually prefer that. Because this one was always a bit of a pain in the ass to get done. But the mechanism backpack's a nice thing to get. If we can get it. Where's Avocado, boys? I've forgotten. It also definitely tech checks her. Scav ahead. Somewhere. It's close to Rasmussen. Okay, cool. I gotta go the other way then. Awesome. I used to know all of these. Rasmussen's over there. Um, probably just could have checked that a bit better. Is that a COD FM? Oh, it's a PSU. We do need them, but like, I, I don't care. Uh, give me this. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's make a bit more space here. Oh! Oh, shit, 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 shit. What am I doing? Why? <laughs> I can't cancel the animation. It's bugged. I can't cancel it. Thanks, Tarkov. Very cool. Probably get a full mag for this. There we go. He's done. Oh, playing without a webcam is so much easier. Holy shit, man. What you got for me, gamer? Level 4 rig, you say? <laughs> I'm not going to wear these. It's a death trap. Uh, not at night. It shows up so much. What am I looking for? Avocado, right? Okay, cool. Let's find it. There it is. I ran right past it. Like a doofus. I knew it was down here somewhere. Ding. Okay, cool. Then I guess we extract that uh, Emicom, right? Yeah, well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Sweet, sweet corrugated hoses. We do not have any. Did I miss one? If I did, I you, you have permission to bully me. Uh, in life and in the Discord server. But never on stream, okay? You never undermine the authority on stream. And by authority, I mean my unbelievable incompetence when it comes to this game. A suppressor would change my life right now. A little spooky we haven't heard any fighting. This whole raid. A little spooky. Don't need that water. What are you, peas? I'll take peas. Let's do another uninterruptible animation. Hyperrealism. You're being shot at by a man screaming in Russian. What is your first thought? That's right, finish the juice. Finish the juice. Don't get the gun up. Finish the juice. This is a strong military game for strong military gamer. Uh, that's the worst Russian accent anyone's ever done. Oh my god, it's the gizmo! Dude, landlord collecting rent a little early? Bonk him on the head. If you haven't seen Swamp Fox TV's advert for Tarkov gizmo... You, uh, you have not lived, my friend. You know what you must do right now. Swamp Fox TV. 
Uh, to answer your question from earlier, though, um, someone mentioned something about... So you've got a Core i9, 1200K, RTX 3090, 32 gigs of RAM, perfect setup for Tarkov. Yeah, just just spend the uh, the annual income of the average South African worker uh, on a computer to play one game, and you'll have the perfect setup. Completely reasonable. Um, this is this is. I mean, I have the same setup, but completely reasonable. <laughs> Listen, I saved up for a year, okay, to get the setup. Uh, what have we got here? No, Tarkov needs to, um, they really need to optimize their game down a bit. Like, it's, uh, game development has gotten very lazy. Um, also, I was, my friends and I were joking about this, but I'm beginning to, like, legitimately believe it. And that's that game developers should not be allowed to own high-end consoles or high-end cards. They should, they should have, like, the bare fucking minimum to develop their game on, so that it works on everyone's system. LPS. You know what I'm saying? Also, are we keeping the gizmo? We didn't take the gizmo. Okay, well, I've, I have failed as a man and a streamer. Don't you dare shoot me, you piece. I think he's down there. He was not down there. He was over here. Stop it! Oh shit! Oh shit! Guns on like 90, 90 durability. Maybe it's not, we should probably repair it. Oh shit! Thank god for armor. I think that's an AKM. He's done. I'm, I'm fat fingering my keys like crazy. That. I, oh my god! Okay, he's got a Vepper Hunter. We're gonna chill over here for a second. Let him get a little bit closer. Thanks for fixing your arm first rather than your bleeding torso. Appreciate that about you. What has been your favorite weapon added in recent wipes? Um, in recent wipes? I mean, the easy answer is the RD-704, but no, I think the new Rhino Revolver is really fun. It's a bit goofy, but it's really fun. Armor is getting a little busted, chat. Homie here's got a Vepa Hunter. Don't know where he is. There he is. Hit him twice. He's gonna be on the ramp now. Nope. Jesus Christ! The bounce! Man, this scab is- he's hit me three for three. It's literally three for three shots. What a gamer. This armor is saving my damn life. I kind of didn't want to heal it fully so we could see what he was packing. I got him. Holy hell, chat. Three for three with the with the Vipper. Was it a PS ammo? No, T45M even. Oof. Scary stuff, that. Navy SEAL scab. He was. Damn. What a gamer. Okay, we made it out. That's what matters. Oh, that one's actually fuller. Just checking the weights. The heavier it is, the more bullets it's got. It's elementary, my dear Watson. This one's basically empty. Your guy will always reload with the most full mag, even if he doesn't technically know what it is inside. By the way, pro gaming tip. And this guy was hitting me with, I'm guessing, 545 PS. Yeah, it got such a big buff. It's really effective against level 3 and down armor now. Even level 4, but you gotta hit a lot more. Okay, now to not get uh, stream sniped, or sniped at the extract. 
I do have binaural audio off, by the way, if anyone's been wondering. Ah, uh, just for the frame improvements. Did the recent patch fix that problem, or do I need to keep it off? What does chat recommend? Oh, Sapient One, what do you say? Does this still work? Nope. Oh, it kind of does. Got to find the right spot, I guess. Bad time to run out of stamina. Did not plan that very well. Did not plan that very well. Okay, looks like that was a completely empty raid. Did I perhaps click offline mode by mistake or something? Who's in the trees? Who's in the trees? Who's in the trees? Who's in the trees? I'm trying to scan it. I'm trying to scan it. Don't see any tree tree wookies. Maybe there's a chance. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. What? What? <laughs> Where the fuck is the extract? Yeah, just just gonna bury my face and motorboat these tires. Don't mind me. I remember some developer talked about the most consumers would not appreciate the effort to optimize a game and would much rather have constant content update even if the game is played at 20 FPS. Yep, that's true. It's a, it's a, it's a real problem with the early access model as well. Um, is that priority is given to uh, content updates. And, but also, like, I mean, it's a necess necessary evil, right? If you're always worrying about getting the game to a stable point when you're pushing new content, you're never going to push new content. Because every time you would update content, you'd have to re-stabilize the game. No, people sign on to early access understanding that there will be issues. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, AAA games that are just, uh, that are not optimized for, for base systems. They have no excuse. They are not in early access, you know. Um, they are they are technically full releases, even though that's not how they're developed anymore. They're supposed to be full releases. Okay, start off here with the graphics card and the thing. There we go. That's one. That is three. Perfect. Uh, let's turn in big sale. Yeah, I see what you mean. Nothing else behind it now. Okay, cool. So that's what we got to focus in on. It does give us a nice backpack, though. Which we might as well use now, to be honest. Because it's going to be really hard to put that in the stash. Equip it. And some more money. It doesn't hurt either. Neither does the experience. How much experience was that, actually? That was... 8,000. Okay, that's like two, three good raids. That's not bad. Hit time. Let's do it, Nee. Let's do it. I'll, I'll, I'll unload. Let's try it. Let me start off with this. We're going to go to customs, okay? Viewer kit to customs. Uh, put this away. Because now I've got to do Postman Pat and Shaking Up Teller. I want to get down Punisher sooner rather than later. 5,000 XP right there. Oh yeah. Is that a STM with four lasers and no... Okay, cool. Guess we're going in. Sounds good. Okay. We have loaded, yeah? Hey, yo, just stab me, my man. Okay, bye-bye, Nii. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> and he's not even a USEC, chat. Oh, God, look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh. Okay. So, uh... Warmageddon. Just... 25 kgs of Warbergeddon. Yeah, I don't think I need to keep searching. I have, a, I have a feeling I know what's going to be in the rest of these pockets. Oh, good, you left me a slot to reload. That's very kind of you. Oh, look at that. Meds, even? You shouldn't have. Oh, look at this. Dude, we're going to live. We're going to thrive. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> alrighty then. And we got the perfect spawn. Full auto. That's all we need. Aim for the legs, boys. Aim for the legs. No, not in the raid. I know. It is a little bit tragic, isn't it? I'm not going to hear anything. Someone's going to kill me very shortly with a Meta RD704 and be unbelievably confused as to what they're looking at here.
I'd actually go in the front door here. I did bring the key, right? Yeah. The screen on my right keeps switching itself off. It's very strange. That was at me. Hello, friend. Would you like to be friends, friend? Well, I guess we're camping. With you. <laughs> you want to see a light show? Watch this. Now you know where I am. Come on, throw that grenade. Throw the grenade. Come on, you know you want to do it. It would be so easy. It would be so easy. Can I animation interrupt anything here? You see how I'm checking my inventory? I don't know what to do here, chat. I'm a little stuck. We got the window at the back? Again! Sides on. Jump out the window. Ugh. Oh, I shot him so much. <laughs> That's a different guy. We shot him so much. How much did we do? How I killed him! We traded! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, we traded. We traded. I hit him 37 <laughs> four times out of The <laughs> Cruncher, I hope your uh, kit was well spent. Frickin' Flechetti. What a coward. Pathetic. Puh. Puh. We spit. He leg medded me, I head medded him. We've won, but at what cost? Uh, let me just uh, kit up real quick. Um, Yeah, fuck it. You know what? We're going, we're going, right? Go win dorms. Give me, give me a half mag here of like 995, install it, put the other half in here with a bit of, uh, with a bit of that, and then just good old 855 and the rest. We're going to, we've got almost no ammo left for this caliber, so we might as well use it up. Give me a five on that. Okay. Ironically enough, we, if we'd gotten there a little bit sooner, we probably would have won. But uh, that was, a, I didn't know you could jump out that window. This is good intel for next time. Thank you, gamers. Thank you for your assist. Uh, I think we're going to probably want to do this if we're going to the dorms. I think that's probably the plan. Considering Flachetti is currently on the market. Okay. Send it. Send it, gamers. Uh, maybe we eat first, though. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's use up 20. And squash we want to keep for the thing. I guess Tashanka, probably the easiest. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Then, we have the 203 key. Let me just triple check that. And it is 203, right? Not 204. Uh, let me just make sure. 203, yeah. Uh, you know what we can do? We can bring 204 as well because it's got the safe key and it's, it's got a safe and it's like right there. I don't see any reason not to do this. And we can just splint that up. That looks... Uh, you know, we don't need this. We don't need this. There we go. That'll do it. Okay. Put me in. I think we'll do a nighttime one for this. Just for uh, for security of winning. Looking chill. Let's send it. Evening. Customs raid. Like a real gamer. I wonder. I wonder if it can be done. Okay. Bad spawn for the dorms. Or great spawn for just dicking around like a goofy goober. Depends on perspective, I suppose.
I'm a little goofy goober. Might as well have some fun with it. It is pitch freaking black, though. Don't remind me, I know. Of course I know him, he's me. Go up the hill. We go up the hill, chat. Did I pick the night raid or the, the morning raid? Is it going to get lighter or darker? I don't remember. Maybe this taking a break thing isn't so uh, isn't what it's cracked up to be. I'm I'm rusty. I'm rustier than a nail, at the back of your dad's tool tool toolbox because he never throws anything away. Might be a little bit too niche. That's literally my father though. Uh huh. Interesting. I I could use another morphine game. Uh, it's been about I don't know two and a half weeks since you showed us one of those. A little bit of F and F maybe as well. I wanna if my paycheck comes through then yes. Okay, perfect. Been all I can think about for two days now. <laughs> That's awesome. It's crazy how it gets you, hey? I tried climbing once when I was younger and broke my tibia in three places. Yeah, it can get it can get pretty dangerous. I'm really sorry that happened to you. Um, yes, uh, on on when I took Noah on his first day, some dude like broke his ankle in three places, falling off the wall. Yeah, like, if you don't have proper instruction on how to fall and how to safely land and all that stuff, you're, you're honestly in a lot of danger. It's not a safe sport. With proper instruction and training, you can be okay. But uh, if you just get like thrown on a wall and some hippie idiot is like, yeah, you'll be fine. You might genuinely die. It's, uh, it's important that uh, you learn the basics before you go too hard. One of those things. Nope. Yes. Okay, Dorms is kind of popping off. Have we got anything else we need to do here? Besides kill scavs. That's PMCs. We don't have that. Operation Aquarius Part 2. That's just to shoot stuff. Ah, just two or three. Alright. To hell we go. It's raining and it's dark. If anyone's got NVGs, we are bricked. I'm straight up not having a good time. I'm going to periodically turn the thing on, chat. Okay? I just learned that bouldering is the second most dangerous kind of climbing after free soloing. Yep. Yep. Which you strategically left out in your pitch to me. Yeah, it's a lot less dangerous. It's a lot more dangerous, rather. But um, it's also a lot more fun. So, uh, what do you want to be, huh? Safe or excited? You want to breathe or look cool as shit? <laughs> Pick one. We could just wait till Dorms chills out a bit. Like, we could fuck around in here for a little while. Yeah, maybe we do that. Take me to the toilet. Take me to the toilet. Uh, that's this is the cover of uh, I want to rock. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm kidding. I don't know, man. I'm I'm on a lot of I'm on a lot of uh, Coke Zero right now. The lack of a sugar rush is really getting to me. After that, I stopped for a long time. I was thrown in by friends, was on the rainy day, and placed my anchor in a bad rock and failed. Oh, you went, like, rock rock climbing. No, dude, we're going to, like, a gym. Oh, no, you were on the stones, man. That's different. You are built different, if that was your first attempt. I don't think I would have done it. Ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. Hey, give me something useful. That's actually pretty useful. That's a safe key. We already own it, so I won't put it in the pouch, but uh, that's a good one to have. Got a fresh helmet if this one gets shot. Yeah, we were indoors with the poofy mats. Exactly. Exactly. Very different game. I'm just going to give three story time to chill the heck out. It's a little crazy right now. There is a... There's another room here with a bunch of weapon boxes. It is on this floor, right? Ah, there they are. One, two. 
How did I see those? I almost didn't. I'm going to level with you. This is going to help. That's going to be very helpful. I didn't have a nade in the previous raid. So I'm doing this at night because I really want to get this task done first try because then we can get straight on to Punisher and we can start doing shoreline runs because we've got lots of stuff to do there. We didn't really have gyms for a long time where I lived. Okay. Where I lived for a long time. Sorry. Oh, hold on. That's actually a, that's a nice grip. That's quite a nice grip. Like that. Don't need that. Leave that for a player scav to come find. Help somebody out with their quest. That's lunch. That's lunch. Lunch me. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering why I speak with the cadence I do, I thought I should, you know, peel back the... Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, unless he's asking you nicely to. Um, I frequently speak like that, where I sort of like end... I, I pitch my voice down and end off on a low note, because it makes editing much easier. It's, uh... It's an easy point to cut and then paste in the next sort of segment. I guess we go in? But we go up the left side, I think. I mean, if they've got... That's a construction. Didn't bring the money this time. Oops. And listen, I can hear anything in the dorms. I got another funny gun for you? Okay, cool. It worked so well last time. I can't hear anything in the dorms. We know there's someone in there. Under the bed, right? Yeah. I think there's still someone in here. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so quiet, I'm listening. Very intently. Hello? I'm going to unlock 214 if you want to get some. Hey, Carolum. Hey, how you doing? Skiddly Scoo, Waffle Man. By the way, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, check out Callum and I's Space Engineers stream. We've been doing some cool stuff over there. I think you'll like it. If you're a fan of the genre of uh, base builders and stuff, we're just kind of goofing around, being a bunch of a goofy goobers. Having a lot of fun doing it, though. But not very good. But we have been having a lot of fun doing it. Check out his channel, Bite Marks! Exclamation mark bottom in chat, somebody. Drop him a link. Any tips for the Tremors headshot quest? Yes, break your arm, not your leg. Wait 60 seconds until it comes in, and then you go into factory with a shotgun, and you just aim high. Aim above their heads, or towards their heads, and you're less likely to get a head torso kill. And that's how you do it. Shotguns. Always shotguns. I am going this way. I've got smuggler's boat, don't I? I should have with that spawn. I do. But of course it's not. It's never here when you need it to be. Nope. Pitch damn darkness over there. Okay, we're going to go crossroads and get out. I just want to get this quest complete because then we can move on to uh, shoreline. Then we can move on to shoreline. Once I'm across this bridge, I'll put the torch on. 
so dark on my display screen. This is like a, just a pitch black screen, basically. YouTube's compression crushes the fidelity down to nothing. Look at the sky for a bit, chat. It's pretty. There you go. It's got pockets. The, the rain certainly does not help because they're up the shadows when it's raining. Also, I think finishing this gives us Polkim Hobo, right? Or is that chemical part one? Because then coming here and killing scabs is a completely viable, viable thing to be doing. What does that mean? Oh cool, I am science. There you go. So most of the commands I use with my streaming software, or all of the commands, are denoted with an exclamation point to set them aside from regular text. Otherwise, every time someone types the word bottom, it would just, you know, spam the link. If shotgun takes a pump with Magnum and take one extra second to aim, yeah. Yep. Magnum, oh, you don't actually even need to use Magnum. 7.5mm is better because you're more likely to hit them in the head. And you're, more, you're less likely to kill them in the torso as well. Have you ever met the lighthouse keeper? No, not yet. That's, uh, it's not a goal for this series, but it is something I'd like to work towards. The problem is the way to do it legitimately, you have to be basically past the Kappa container, uh, which is not something I've ever even attempted. Well, I've attempted it, but I think I, have I? No, I've never, I don't know if, I can't remember if I've actually done it. I remember getting very close one of the wipes, but I cannot remember for the life of me if I actually finished it. Uh, uh that was before they increased the level cap to 72, and then they brought it down again to like 65 or something. But um, I, I almost did it when it was at 40 something. I think it was at like, was it 47, 48? I don't remember. Okay, cool, we got out, and more importantly, we can turn in this right here. Okay, cool, this gives us Punisher. That's a very annoying quest, it's done now. That's a nice one to have finished. And there's Punisher, yay! We, uh, we have to shoot scabs with an AKM on shoreline. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Couch Potato, The Senate, Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82 Riley David, LCG Canyon Sahar, Knee Cruncher, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Not K Arthur, Cut Beef Go Ham, Jack Smallman, Rivo, Adachi, I'm Alpha, King, Alan Osella Chair, Sella Hair, Gragnar Skull Crew, Raija, Rob, Depoyo44, Pratham Barush, Sleep Deprived Sam, Badass Beast, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Mo Romans, Officer C4, Ooh, Yum the Pan, Cairo, Kili Thaza, Eve Roxanne, Kodiak, Dimitri Liako, CCMD, Wedgie FRG, Lunar Shots, Darky, Hedrick Ebert, Black Omega 9, The Emperor, Dennis Feros, Big Bird 18th, Josh Thompson, Chad Farista, Mermix 42, and Millennium Dawn. You guys all rock.